All right, chip of the day. The chip now is a STK392. And we have the dash 180. So check, look at this guy. It's a big, uh, one of these big modules that have an aluminum PC board in them. And they, uh, you see a lot of these for um, stereo amplifiers and stuff. Uh, but this one is a three channel convergence correction circuit <laughs> for color TVs, I guess, or monitors, or I don't know, something Sanyo. Uh, let's take a look at the black diagram. It's just got three op amps in it. Channel one, channel two, channel three, RGB. And interestingly, it has um, a, a VCC for the pre-circuit and a VCC for the output circuit, which I guess you can have different voltages on those two things, which is kind of cool. Um, and then it, it looks like this inside, and this is probably the actual schematic. Um, so it's gonna have a bunch of discrete things on a module. It'll be a, a chip on board type of module. And then it'll have one, two, three, four, five, six drive transistors. Uh, that will be the output. So this thing's pretty heavy duty. Let's look at the data sheet again. Uh, yeah, see, I see three amps, uh, high supply voltage up to plus or minus 38 volts, three output amplifiers. So you could repurpose this for all kinds of stuff, driving motors or stuff like that. Um, instead of uh, color correction <laughs> or, or uh, convergence, I should say. And it'll go up to, I don't know, we've got the dash 180, which isn't on here, but anyway, it's at, at least 15 kilohertz upwards to 100 kilohertz, some, some, somewhere in there. Um, yeah, oh, general projection, projection TVs, HDVG, I don't know, different things. Kind of a cool, kind of a cool part. Uh, I kind of like it, but. The reason it's the chip of the day is because we get to open it up. That'll be the fun part, okay? So like I said, these are meant to be bolted down to a heat sink. It's got an Illumina PC board here, and I've already cracked the thing loose. So yeah, there it is, the inside. So this, this that's just a hunk of plastic. And here's this lovely PC board. Let's zoom down a bit on it. But yeah, uh, so it's all, it's all basically a little circuit, a little surface mount circuit. And um, it allows, it allows you to build a cheap PC board that's not surface mount capable. It's just uh, maybe a one-sided through hole, really cheap board. And then the fancy circuit goes on this little board and you don't have to worry about it. You just buy it. And, and then it's a through hole, through hole part here when you plug it onto your board. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and put this under the, under the microscope. I think it'll be fun. So yeah, so the board is gonna have uh, a bunch of individual resistors and diodes and transistors and stuff. And then it's got those f six big drive transistors, which in the um, uh, block diagram or the uh, sample uh, circuit, they show them as Darlingtons. And so you can see here, they are all uh, chips mounted on a big heat spreader. So there's these big slugs and the chips, the transistors, the chip transistor silicon chips are mounted on those big heat spreaders. And then that gets attached to the PC board, which then gets attached to the uh, alumina, aluminum PC board on the bottom for additional heat spreading and, and attached to the heat sink. So let's just kind of take a look around this thing. Um, I mean, there's nothing too fancy here. It looks like a normal board these days, like even a low density surface mount board these days. But back then it was pr probably pretty high tech. I'm not sure what uh, what date these have on them. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I love opening up these things and looking inside. They always look they always look high tech. <laughs> they look uh, they look fun. Um, I'm going to try to scrape. It's it's it's. I don't know if that's a hard material or a soft material all over the uh, passivating over the uh, the drive transistors. Um, but I'm going to try to scrape some off. And actually, it's real soft. It's super, super soft. And so uh, I think I can expose the uh, expose the die so we can just kind of see it there. Yeah, so it looks like a standard, you know, bipolar transistor type of thing. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. All right, well, that was chip of the day, an STK392.
two from Sanyo. Um, yeah, pretty cool. And uh, I think I've got some more things like this too. <laughs>